The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban De Development says 48,000 veterans were homeless in 2015. Now, one local veterans outreach worker is making it her goal to help the homeless veterans in the Mahoning Valley. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed talked to her today to find out how much this will help. Being able to help other homeless vets, it means a lot to me. I mean, it's, it's nice to, to see something like this come together. Ron at one point was a homeless veteran, but thanks to a local transition counselor, him and his kids now have care. Now he's giving back to help others that are in that situation. He was volunteering today to clean up an abandoned church in Camel that will be used as transitional veterans housing. It's a huge building, has a lot of potential. I'm very excited, but as you can see, there's a lot of work that needs done. Tammy is a homeless outreach worker, specifically working with veterans who suffer from addictions. Camel Mayor Nick Phillips approached her about renovating the old church on Roosevelt Drive. Today was the first day starting the renovation process. The upstairs will be the community center, and then there's a whole separate downstairs that will be the dorm rooms. Uh, we'll have a family unit. They'll have separate showers. There's a kitchen downstairs, and then there's a community room downstairs, too. While the upstairs will be for community use, downstairs will be strictly for veterans in need. Tammy hopes that way the community will have a place for events that the veterans can work to put on. Ron says the Mahoning Valley's veterans transitional system desperately needed this. It's lacking a lot because um, a lot of them are funded by the VA itself, so people just kind of look at us as a paycheck. Right now, Tammy is working mainly with donations. She's applying to run it as a 501c nonprofit, and with that status, she can apply for grants. She's hoping once it's up and running, she can get a full staff, including workers to help veterans. I'm hoping to have like wraparound care people that would work with not only the community, but the veterans too, uh, for other case management or mental health or medical screenings. In Camel, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News.